Um, it's now my pleasure to uh, bring to the stage a former uh, Assistant Secretary at ODEP, the Office on Disability Employment Policy at the U.S. Department of Labor. Neil Romano is here and will make a few comments and the next introduction. Neil. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, let me start off by, uh, you know, I, I have prepared remarks, of course, um, but I, I just wanted to say I'm looking out at this audience and I've worked with so many of y'all and it's just so good to be with you. And I am so proud that we have this kind of forum here and that we need to make as a commitment to each other. And I'm going to call on all of my friends over there that four years from now, we'll have presidents or presidential candidates here. We have to have them here. It's that important. You know, I, I, think, uh, I think a lot of you out there know me as a world-class dyslectic. Um, and um, reading for me is very difficult, uh, especially reading out loud. Uh, but the person I'm, uh, I'm introducing today, I wanted to be so precise with what I had to say that I decided to put words down on paper. And uh, even my wife was frightened by that, since I can't even read a grocery list. But um, I would like to um, just say, as a, as a person who struggled with a learning disability my entire life, whose brother is a Vietnam veteran with a severe disability, and has had the honor to serve my country as Assistant Secretary of Labor for the Office of Disability Employment Policy, I have lived with and dealt with disabilities from virtually every perspective. That's why when I meet someone who genuinely cares about people with disabilities and the struggles they face, I'm honored to be associated with them. Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers is such a person, someone who has been personally touched by disability, but even more importantly, brings to the issue a genuine belief in the inherent value of every single human being. Because of that belief, Kathy knows that for far too long, people with disabilities have not received full access to all the social, economic, and educational opportunities they deserve as Americans, and as human beings, and she knows that's wrong. That's wrong for people with disabilities, and that's wrong for our country. A country that can no longer afford to squander the talents and abilities of this valuable group of people. We just can't do it, America. We need you. We need each and every person in this room as a member of leadership, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers has acted upon those beliefs and earned bipartisan respect, which you heard today from some of the other speakers, and I thank you for that, nationwide for her unwavering support of people with disabilities. Congressman Rogers, along with Representative Patrick Kennedy, founded the Congressional Down Syndrome Caucus. She also chairs the Bipartisan Disability Caucus, the Congressional Neurosciences Caucus, and the, and the Congressional Military Family Caucus, all dedicated to helping people with disabilities realize the promise of a better tomorrow. And all because she believes in the inherent value of every single person. And believes that at her very core, it is absolutely unacceptable for people with disabilities to be left behind any longer a belief she shares with Governor Romney and the reason she's here today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the Congresswoman from the state of Washington, Kathy McMorris-Rogers. <laughs> 